first of all, everybody has origins to Africa. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, you know she's a graduate of Howard University. Yes, she is. So, My she got it right. Of, yes. Right, so she got it right. And I'm, a, I'm a person from H. Steve, uh, for the record, I'm a person from HBCU. Okay. I was part of the uh, education case that we won against the state of Maryland. I was one of the plaintiffs and made an expert witness where they were underfunding high, higher education for all the historically black schools here. And I'm here to tell you that race, as we are taught all in, in all academia, is a social construct. This is a woman, because we're getting right into this show, uh-huh. folks. Right. This is a woman who voluntarily, who outed her? Her parents. I found it very interesting. This is a woman who made a decision to go to an HBCU, first of all, and she has two black children who are, ident- they're not like, they identifiably black. Now, do I have issues with her integrity as far as not mentioning it? Uh, yeah. Not mentioning it, she was passing. Of course. Well, and the thing is that mm. she's, so in, she's so enthralled in the African-American community yes. that she forgot to, forgot to consider the historical context of passing in this country. Yeah. People passed in this country as, as a survival mechanism. They sure did. So for her to pass and think, oh, it's just, so, that's how I identify myself now, that's offensive. Well, mm. I mean. That's incredibly offensive. Well, for some people it might be, but I would suggest to you, how come we're not having this same attitude towards these people like Carol Channing, who was who's been, who was passing. You know who Carol Channing was, right, the entertainer? Yes. We recently found out she was passing. And all these other black folk who have, during the time of passing, the black folks knew who were passing. I think Clarence Thomas, who's identified black, is passing. He just looks black. I, <laughs> if you want, if you really want, I'd rather give me. We can do a you, trade. You can't compare the two. We, she, I think she, we can. The element of he's, deception and what she did doing? is offensive. I think what he's doing is offensive. And she passed to accelerate her professional agenda. That's why I'm backing off. Wow. She knew. Yeah. That if she was a white woman, she wouldn't have been received the same way. She knew she did it intentionally. But, but the NAACP she's, not, she's not a dumb person. Look, she's a little off mentally, but she's not a dumb person. Ooh, I'm not. I, I haven't. Off mentally. I haven't examined her. Miss Rachel, as he referred I, to her. I haven't done an. I haven't done an assessment of Miss Rachel to determine anyone who can live that kind of lie <laughs> and start her. to believe it. You're a little off. Mentally. I think that there's something going on there, but I think what's deeper is that once she decided to hook up with this black man. With the parents he had, because the parents he, out he, of it. He knew she wasn't the, she wasn't the sister. Oh, he knew it? You, you notice he's not he, talking. He Hold on. You know his homeboy ain't talking. How? 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 Homeboy's not How talking. How would he know? How, How would he, he know? He knew. How? The, the parents knew. are talking. The, the siblings are talking, but the husband's not saying anything. The husband's not saying Cause he know, anything. Because he, he, right? he know what the husband got, because he, he running the show. He got her like that. See, that's the part of what we're not talking about. But he should have told her what she was doing wasn't right. He well, was deceptive. As a black man, he knew what she was doing. Do you agree? Do you agree what she did? No. No, she doesn't. You don't agree? I, I, I understand. I'm not saying I agree with her lack of integrity. She could have been more effective if she had been honest. I think that race is a social construct. Who she perceives herself to be. She got Caitlyn's situation going on. I don't totally get Caitlyn. Wow. But I think she's, a, in her mind... Oh, oh, Chris Jenner? Yeah, yeah. Chris no, no. Jenner. No, no, well, you know... We're talking about race, gender, two different things. Well, no. two, that's a two, two well, different show topics. No, we're talking about... Pers- They're not synonymous. No, we're two talking about... We're talking about... Synonymous. We're talking about self identity. We're talking about self-identification. And, 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 and even though race and gender may be different, the, the part of how you identify is a personal the, choice. The reporter showed a picture this of an African radio. American man, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and she said that was her father. That's deception. Ah, that's an outright lie. That's not deception. Exactly. And that's that's my a straight point. up lie. But my point is, that's I think, my point. But my point is, black folks who are being holier than now have to understand there's a whole history of black folks passing. Exactly. And, and which, it impacts all of us. Which she wasn't sensitive and, and to. Some of, and I had people, my grandfather, they hated it. He hated doing right. it. Right. He hated it. But there were some black folks who loved it. Because they but, got but, the benefit. But why did he hate it? You know why he hated it. Because a part of himself had died when he took on the identity of another race. Yeah, but he he he, he had a white that was clear, but wow. down south of North Carolina, so when for, he was down there and he had to do it, he moved up here. He didn't play, he didn't pass up here, but down North Carolina, he did what he had to do. But some folks passed and never came Ali, back. You think we should open up the lines and hear the uh I would the, love to hear what the people, people out have there to say. Have to say. Definitely. You, you would? I would. All right, what you wanna what you wanna open it up and talk about? What are we talking about? Well, yeah, continue on the, on this topic because it's, it's something. Is it the that right thing, the wrong thing? She stepped down, though. It doesn't matter. She, she should, stepped down because she felt the heat. Do you think if she, she had get arrested? It, she wouldn't for have this? stepped down. You think is it jail time behind this? No, no, no. I mean, I, I don't think it's, she should go to jail. So what but, should happen to her? Yeah. I mean, we could put her in a cave. Where I what? mean, she can go on. She can go on living her life. But the thing is, is that now her stock. Book. Hey, thank you. She has a great book right up. now. She'll pro- they'll probably have a movie on Lifetime. I'm buying it. Okay? She'll probably do speaking engagements and she'll bank off of this. I dare say Uh-oh. that this was intentional. Allie, you that know That she mastermind this whole thing because she's not a dumb chick. No, she's Allie, not a dummy. Allie, don't, but don't worry, Allie. You and I will get paid arguing about this. Right, people will love to see that's it. That's so I, mean, yeah, I, love, I, love the, I love those checks too. But, but I think 
that this could have been premeditated. Now, do you this have a guest stunt. before we call her? What about the NAACP president uh, in Baltimore? You yeah, she's joining us shortly. A Tessa? Yes. Tessa Hill, the president of NAACP? Yes. Wow. Baltimore. Yes. Uh -oh. But the NAACP has an interesting situation going on, too, because historically it's... The, the reason why it's not called the National Association of Black People, it's called the National Association of Colored People, mm -hmm. is because the Niagara Movement. And the Niagara Movement started as a result of Booker T. Washington leaving Tuskegee, coming up to Boston, making this speech that, you know, that was liberal town. And they were so offended by him basically telling blacks you should be more subservient, you should have... The bit you should be have businesses like being maids and mm -hmm. clothes, and them folks up in Boston weren't hearing that. Oh. So what happened was that uh, you turned me down. What happened was uh -huh. is that the folks in Boston weren't hearing what Booker T was saying. So Monroe Trotter, who's a, a famous instigator and a publisher, got together with some other folks, and they ended up having something called the Niagara Movement, they, where they met literally in Niagara, New York, and that became the NAACP. Now understand something: uh -oh. some of the people, the original NAACP, several were white, several were straight up mixed and. and, and Halfway passing, and then later on, the NWCP is a complicated animal, historically speaking. And you had, it had a lot of white backing, and a lot of the people who were involved in the NAACP at later dates were actually collaborating with the government and informing, There's including Spingarn. So what you she did. She made a, she, so, she intentionally did not re uh, reveal her identity. Uh -huh. race. Well, I that was, was deliberate. I right. would say that. I would say that some of those, some of those folks. Uh -huh. Doing, some of those folks back in the day were guilty of a similar offense, and be it survival or whatever, it's the same offense. So in her case, it might be survival because her parents had disowned her once she got with this black man. So you that, can't. That, that really made no offense. That doesn't make any sense. There's no can't. correlation between passing years ago and what she did. There's no correlation. It's passing, there. passing. Oh, are we there's now? No, there's no uh, correlation. You can't uh, Ali, be are white. You at at it's the same, same sin. sin. But there's no. It's the same no, sin. You're trying no to. Correlation at you, all. You're trying can to you, do revisionist history and say that the sin that they committed now is different because of you, the reason why. It's the same you, sin. Can you be another race working at the NAACP? Yes, you can. You can, but she what? Yeah, she can't. You can, but be honest. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Deception does not sit well with me. I'm with. That's why everything that she's accomplished to me has been tainted. Let's go. Let's go to Ernest. Maybe see what he had to uh, say. <laughs> Ernest, you live. How you doing, Ernest? Yeah, how you doing? What's going on? I, I think uh, it's about three million black people that's crossed the color line. Yep. J. Edgar Hoover was, yep. has black ancestors. Mm -hmm. he, he was passing for white. No, you don't hear no white person say, well, let's check into J. Edgar Hoover's background mm -hmm. and find out who his black relatives are. Mm -hmm. But the thing is this. When she decided to go black. You give up your white privilege. Mm -hmm. She was threatened by uh -oh. the Ku Klux Klan. Mm -hmm. She was a razz, had crosses burnt on her lawn and all that. And most black people... Crosses burnt on her lawn? Yes, in, 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 in Spokane. Most black people wouldn't put up with that and wouldn't talk out against white supremacy. And she did. And she did. So, and, and, and she was just like, to make the comparison of Miss Luazo. Miss Luazo was a white woman that went down to the civil rights and was making peanut butter for the civil rights workers. On her way home, they stopped her and they raped her and killed her. With Goodman and Cheney. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, well, and also with Goodman and Cheney. So when you make an argument like this, man, she she hasn't did anything to hurt black people. She has did things to help don't like black that. people. Uh, uh, do you, you agree or disagree? She was by her mother and father exactly. Are good people is because her older brother is allegedly charged with sexually assaulting a, a, a black uh, a, a girl, underage girl, and in order.